Today in our 2011 Honda CRV, we'll be having a look at and installing the Rowmaster Diode 7 wire to 6 wire flexo coil wiring kit, part number RM 15267. Okay, here's what a wiring kit looks like installed. On the front of our vehicle, we'll have our six way round connector here, which will connect to our RV using our six way and seven way adapter with our coiled wiring harness. This kit will allow us to safely flat tow our CRV behind our motorhome while giving us the required lighting functions as needed by law. We'll have our turn signals, brake lights, and tail lights on the back of our vehicle so our motorist behind us will be alerted when we're turning or stopping or they can see us safely at night. These lights will work in conjunction with the lights on our motorhome via the umbilical cord. There is no magnetic tow lights with this kit. It's a nice advantage. It uses your factory lights already installed in the vehicle and you don't have to drill into your light assemblies to add a separate bulb and socket. The dial packs also make it impossible for voltage to backfeed into our vehicle's lighting circuitry and computer systems causing expensive damage. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. All right, to begin our installation, we went ahead and routed our four pole wiring from the front by our base plate here. We have it wrapped in some electrical tape to conceal it. We did this when we had the fascia off when we installed the base plate. Then we routed it up and through our engine bay. Comes up in this area here, goes around our battery, comes down here, goes behind our air box, and then goes down. This way, it's out of the way of anything that we need to service in our vehicle. First thing we're gonna do is take our six pole connector here. We'll take off the dust cap here, and we'll slide it down over our wire, and back up a little bit so it's out of our way for right now. Now we'll separate all four of our wires. Okay, with all four of our wires separated, we'll strip off some insulation from all four. Okay, on the back side of our six pole connector, we'll find our six terminals. We'll do our ground wire first. It's a one mark GD. So we'll take a Phillips screwdriver, loosen up the set screw a little bit. And our ground wire is the white wire. Stick it inside and tighten down the set screw. Now we'll do our tail light and marker lights. It's a one mark TM. And that gets the brown wire. Okay, we'll do the left turn signal now. It's one marked LT, that'll get the yellow wire. Okay, now we'll do the right turn signal. It's the one marked RT. Our turn signal wires are also our brake lights because we're treating our vehicle as a trailer. And that gets the final green wire. Okay, now that our connections are made, we'll slide our dust cap back down onto our plug. Now, I'll take some electrical tape to hold it in place and help make our connection a little bit more weather tight. We'll now push it back. We'll secure it to our base plate using self-tapping screws that came off our base plate. Get one started, and we'll get the other one started. And then we'll center it up, snug it down. And now we'll take a look underneath our vehicle and we'll show you how we routed the wiring to the back. So it comes down out of our engine bay right here. Have it zip tied to this bracket. We went above our rack and pinion and kept it away from any moving parts or sources of heat. Came on back, zip tied here to this bracket that holds our fuel and brake lines in place. Went underneath this shield for our fuel tank. Comes out beside our fuel tank. Secure to this parking brake cable here. We went up and over our rear subframe to avoid our rear axle. Zip tied it to this tab here on the subframe. Now we're at our rear bumper where we're going to pull it up into the vehicle behind the taillights. Okay, with our hatch open in the back of the vehicle now, we'll start by removing our taillight assemblies. There's a cover here that covers up our hardware that holds the taillight in place. We'll just pop this loose. 10 millimeter bolt there. The second cover right at the top of our taillight that one and we'll find another screw that holds our tail light in place. Now we'll remove our eight millimeter screws. 
and we'll grab our tail light assembly and wiggle it out towards us. Okay, the bulb that we're gonna be using will be this one right here, the second one from the top. This bulb does our tail lights and our brake lights on our vehicle. So this is the one we'll use. You can tell it apart from the rest because it has three wires going into it, a green, a red, and a black. We'll take the other bulbs out too, just so we can set our tail light aside so it doesn't get damaged. Okay, we'll do the same process on our passenger side now. Again, same bulb, same location. Okay, now we'll take a piece of airline tubing. You can use a coat hanger or anything that's somewhat flexible, but yet somewhat rigid. We'll use this as a pull wire. Go down behind our bumper opening here and come out the bottom. All right, here's where our pull wire came down. We'll just tape the end of our four pole flat wire to that now. Now we'll pull on our pull wire, separate all four of the wires just like we did in the front, and we'll go all the way down. Okay, with our four wires separated, we'll drop down the green wire because we need that wire on the passenger side. All right, we have our brake light on right now, so we're gonna test which one of our three wires here is our wire that controls our brake light. Use a test light. So it's our green and white wire right here. This is the wire that we're gonna use for our brake light and our turn signals on the driver's side of our vehicle. Okay, so we'll take a green and white wire. We'll cut it in two. And we'll strip back the insulation from both ends. And now we'll stick on our spade connectors and crimp them into place. Now we'll take our diode pack, the output side of our diode, goes towards our light bulb. And then the other end goes to one of the inputs. Doesn't matter which one. Okay, now I'll measure off about how much of our yellow wire we're gonna need. And I'll cut off the excess. I'll strip off some insulation. Attach a connector. And this will go on the other input side of our diode pack. Okay, now we have our tail lights on. We need to determine which wire controls our tail light signal. And it will be our red and black wire. Okay, now we'll cut a red and black wire and strip back some insulation. Place on our connectors again here. Again, our dial pack. The output goes towards the light bulb. And it also doesn't matter which input for the other side. Now we'll take our brown wire, measure off about how much we're gonna need cut off the excess. Now our brown wire here that we cut off and the end that we still have left, we'll strip back ends from both. And we'll twist the two together. Now we'll take our yellow spade connector, put it under the wires, and we'll crimp that on down. That will go to our other input side of our dial pack. Now our brown wire that we added on to our existing brown wire will drop back down just like we did with our green wire. That leaves us with just our white wire on the driver's side. This is our ground. We're just gonna attach it to our vehicle sheet metal right in this area here. First we'll measure off how much wire we need. Cut off the excess. Strip off the insulation. 
Take our provided ring terminal. Crimp it in place. Now we'll use the provided self-tapping screw to secure it to the sheet metal. Okay, if all of our connections made, we'll put our bulbs back into our driver's side taillight. And now we'll put our taillight back in place. Our green and brown wire that we dropped down, we routed behind our fascia here. You may or may not have a trailer hitch on your vehicle. Ours does. We went behind that, behind this tab here for our fascia support. Went through our tow hook here. I would have gone in front of it had our vehicle not a, had a hitch on it. But since we did, we just went through there because our tow hook's not usable anymore with the hitch. Went behind this other fascia support tab, behind the hitch again over our muffler and tailpipe, and we have it taped to a pull wire again that we dropped down. Now I'll pull these wires up and make our connections. Okay, we went ahead and tested our wiring just like on the other side, and we determined that our wiring color is exactly the same. Our red and black wire is our taillight signal, and our white and green wire is our brake light signal. So we'll measure off how much wire we need. Cut here in the middle. We'll strip it back and attach our connectors. Okay, the output side of our diode again goes towards our light bulb. Okay, since this is the red and black wire, this is our tail light wire. So it gets our brown wire. We'll do our other one here now. Let's make sure we cut it in about the same spot. This will be our turn signal and brake light since we're treating our vehicle as a trailer. So we're just crimping our connectors like we did before. Now we'll add our diode pack in. Now we'll take our green wire and we'll strip off some insulation. And we'll plug our green wire into the final side of our last diode. Okay, with all of our connections made, we'll plug our lights back into our taillight assembly. Now we'll reinstall the taillight assembly. Okay, we have a trailer tester here plugged into the front of our CRV with the umbilical that comes with our kit. We can use this trailer tester to run through the functions to check all your lighting on your CRV or any other trailer or utility trailer or whatever you have. Or alternatively, you can just plug in the back of your RV. If you'd like to purchase one of these, we do have these available on our website though. So we'll start off by testing our tail lights. As you can see, those are working. Now we'll do a right turn signal and right brake light. And as you can see, that's working as well too. Now we'll do the left. And that one's working as well. Now that we verify that all of our lights are working properly, it's now safe for us to hook up to our RV and go on our journey. And that completes our look at and installation of the Roadmaster Diode 7 wire to 6 wire Flexo Coil Wiring Kit, part number RM-15267 on our 2011 Honda CRV. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.